Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, again, walking this beautiful beach in Phuket, Thailand, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Yes, we will start with five amazing Bitcoin charts, a beautiful trading tip, a travel tip, of course, some live advice. And yes, talking about the news, because I read something really cool now about Argentina. It will be the ultimate test because it's pretty windy and this new DJI setup needs to prove now that it also can handle a little bit of wind while recording here on the beach, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the first part of the video, the charts, because you want to know what the charts have to say. Is that 48K still in play or are we going to go and pull back from this moment on? And maybe even talk a little bit about the ETF because some news has come out again about that spot ETF. Let's quickly jump into that first part, the charts, guys. Bam. On the first chart for the day, guys, you can see this beautiful four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we can see that beautiful W pattern. So we can see here a clear W pattern. And normally, the amount that we break out of the W pattern, guys, should be the amount of the depth of that pattern. So that amount, or approximately that amount, guys. So it is very interesting to see now how that is playing out, guys. I didn't draw it like perfectly, so I think the target of the W pattern is the 48K level. We can even see now that we retested that uh, neckline, so now we should take off to the 48K level in the short term, guys. But let's take a look at some more interesting charts that are also showing us uh, the long term beautifully. Now, the first chart is this three monthly chart. So every candle is three months. On this three monthly chart, we can see in the bottom two signal that we are crossing with the blue line across that orange line and every time when we do that that's the start of that massive bull run look to the previous time there in 2020 when that blue line started to move above that orange line that was the start of that massive run all the way up to 70k guys very important moment on the three month chart yes that line is crossing so yes 2024 and 25 are gonna be very bullish years guys now we have this one. You can see the Bitcoin returns from 2010 to 2023, from year start to year end. 2010, 9,900%. 2011, 1,400%. 2012, 186%. 2013, 5,000%. Then 14, bear market. Continue reading on. 2018, bear market, minus 73%. 2022, bear market, minus 65%. But this year already, 166% up from the start of the year. 2024 and 25 are gonna be even more bullish years than this year. Beautiful moment to step into Bitcoin. Give your family and kids Christmas presents, give them Bitcoin. And we see this chart, guys, the Bitcoin price with HPR. The HPR meaning halving price regression. So we can see that yes, the halving price, there is a regression in it. So we can see in the bottom from uh, the 15th of December 2023 compared to the 15th of December of 2019 is a times six factor. We need to break now that red line in the bottom part of the chart, guys. But if you now look to the top part of the chart, 2023 is compared a little bit to 2019. And then you see that 2020 and 21 were that bull market. That is what we are gonna see. We're gonna see that orange line breaking that red line coming above that red line all the way in 2024, 25, creating a new top. Just like we created the top in 2021, four years later, there will be a top in 2025. How high that top will be, we don't know. But that's all depending on how much liquidity is going into the market because, for example, of the spot ETS, because, for example, of the retail investors, because, for example, of any other factor out there in the world. But the more liquidity gets into the Bitcoin market, the higher that peak will be in 2025. I am guessing we will see a blow of top, just like we saw between 2017 and 18, December 2017. You can see that's a single blow of top. It's a completely different than the double top, the distribution top that we saw in 2021, guys. So very interesting chart. Pause this video if you want to analyze this chart a little bit more. But this chart is telling you, zoom the fuck out in Bitcoin. Enjoy the next two very bullish green years, 2024 and 25. This chart is emphasizing exactly the same. The MVRV Z score, guys. Look where we are. We are where that red circle is on the right side of the chart. And look where we are going. 
we are going to the end of that arrow, that pinkish arrow in the MVRV Z score, around the level 7 to 9. Look to the left on the chart. Every bull market, we went into that pinkish area. Only the previous bull market, we touched it because it was a double top, a distribution top. If it would have been a blow off top, because we didn't have, for example, uh, the COVID crash, then it would be higher into that pinkish area, guys. But also look to the left, to the level where we are now, and now look to the left on the chart, where we were at that moment in those previous cycles. We were just in front of that massive run. Every time when we came to that level of two, with that yellow line, that is the moment that we were just getting started. That is the moment that Bitcoin is going to go into that massive, beautiful bull run. Amazing chart. Keep an eye on the MVRV all through the year of 2024 and 25, guys. That was also the last chart. So let's quickly jump now into the next part of the video. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, of course, like always, I'm zooming out in uh, Bitcoin, zooming in at life. These charts are all beautiful. The short term charts also very beautiful. But the most important part is that you understand that bigger picture and that bigger picture is showing us that Bitcoin is approaching a halving in April 2024 and is showing us that from that halving we will go in this beautiful massive bull run again. And a beautiful massive bull run again will bring us to a new all-time high somewhere in 2025. So it's not time to freak out, it's time to zoom out. You should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin every day now and slowly start to enjoy that beautiful run that we will see from April 2024 all the way to the new all-time high in 2025. That is the play that we are playing as the Bitcoin family. And if you want to join the VIPs of the Bitcoin family, then go to thebitcoinfamily.com and you see a menu item products and in that menu item products, you will find more information on how to join the VIPs. Now let's quickly jump now into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, again, the chart pattern. Yesterday, with the ascending and the descending triangle, uh, today we're talking about the symmetrical triangle. Same beautiful pattern, but this pattern can be bullish and bearish. So we can see a symmetrical triangle playing out. So that's a correct, beautiful triangle, also looking like a little bit like a flag, but that symmetrical triangle can play out to the top or to the bottom. So it's always waiting for a breakout. So when we see the symmetrical triangle pattern you wait for the breakout are we breaking that bottom line probably first we will retest that bottom line before we go into the short are we breaking that top line probably we will first retest the top line before we will go long so that symmetrical triangle pattern is a very difficult one to see how it's going to pay out if we are already bullish and then the symmetrical triangle and we are going to go out wait for the retest because else it could also be a fake out very difficult pattern to read, so for me, not the most favorite one. I prefer the descending or the ascending uh, triangles, guys, because they are just a little bit more telling. Now, that was the beautiful trading tip for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then go search for that pattern on the charts now and let me know what you think about it. Oh, by the way, if you're looking to the four hour chart today, just look to the four hour chart today. You will find a pattern that we have been talking about in the last couple of days. It is a double bottom pattern. It looks like a W. If you look at the four hour chart, look at that pattern. It's a W pattern. A w pattern always leads into this massive run. And that massive run could be the height from the W pattern. And if we would paste that on the top, on the neckline of the W pattern, that would bring us to 48K. No coincidence that everyone is calling 48K as the next target. Check the four hour chart for the W pattern. Now let's jump into the travel tip. The travel tip for today, guys, is for all your animal lovers out there. So if you want to combine taking care of animals and traveling in a very cheap way, you have a website out there that we use in 2017-18. And that website is called trustedhousesitters.com. And trustedhousesitters.com gives you the possibility to find houses and have some pets of which the sitters are going on holiday. For example, they leave for two weeks or they leave for a month or maybe even leave for two, three months. And during that time, they are searching for trusted house sitters. So people that will sit their houses and take care of their pets. 
So you can mostly stay free in these houses as long as you take care of the pets that are in that house. That can be chicken, that can be horses, that can be dogs, that can be cats, that can be turtles, that can be snakes, that can be any kind of animal. But luckily you can choose yourself which kinds of animals you want to take care of. But if you're searching for a very cheap solution to travel around the world and you're willing to take care of some pets, going to the beach and walking those dogs, etc. then check that website, trustedhousesitters.com. Again, we used it in 2017-18. Uh, we only house it in like two or three houses, but it was really fun and it was a really nice experience for the kids uh, to have the possibility to take care of these animals while traveling the world. And again, you're saving massively in housing costs because you don't pay for the houses. You're just invited to stay in their homes, even sometimes use the cars, the bikes, everything else, as long as you take care of their beautiful pets. Trusted, housesitters.com. And no, I'm not being paid to show that website. I'm just sharing how we saved on our cost in the beginning of traveling when Bitcoin was still a little bit low and we needed to hold as much as possible Bitcoins. So we needed to try and minimize our spendings every month. And that is how we sold it. Trusted, housesitters.com. That was the travel tip for the day. I hope it is handy, but let's jump into the next part of the video now. The next part of the video, guys, is uh, the question of one of the followers. The question was, Didi, do you believe that the influence of BlackRock in the miners, in the mining industry, um, is a threat? Wow, there's a very big shell, guys. I'm going to film it for you. These are the very big ones that you can't touch on the beach. You're not allowed to touch them. Can you see it over there? Um, because these are the ones, there's always signs in the forest that you can't touch these ones because these are like, not that common anymore, but you need to leave them alone, which I'm not doing now, but I'm not going to touch it. But it's a very big one. Let's see if it comes out. Beautiful shell animal over there. I forgot the name. It's called a uh, yeah, this special thing, but they are protected over here, guys, in Thailand. So now, um, the BlackRock question. Do you think that BlackRock's influence on the miners can be a threat to Bitcoin? To be very clear, I already made a video about this like a month ago. Like, like before BlackRock even became trendy, I told you all, guys, I don't like this. I don't like this huge centralized entity, BlackRock, that has their fingers all over the world in every industry now to become part of Bitcoin. I didn't like that. I already told you that many times. But then many people start to tell me in the comments and also in real life, but be happy, it's gonna pump your bags. Of course, I'm going to be very happy for all those people out there of which bags will be pumped because of that spot ETF. But we are losing that power that Bitcoin should give to the normal people because Bitcoin is now being taken over by the rich people again to make it a rich man's tool. And that's exactly what BlackRock is doing. And they are doing this in a very strategic way. Yes, of course, they bought the shares of a shitload of miners. The top five biggest miners in the world, around 15% is now owned by BlackRock. Of course, they also bought the shares of, for example, Blockstream, which of course is the most important company when it comes to the Bitcoin blockchain. So yes, BlackRock has been strategically playing this game already for years. First starting to buy in to the ones that are maintaining the Bitcoin blockchain. Second, then start to buy in into the ones that are mining Bitcoin. That's the miners. And now third, when they are partly in control of those two, of course, they are gonna launch a spot ETF. They don't need to be afraid anymore that there is not enough Bitcoins for them to buy. Because they don't need to buy the Bitcoins from the same market that you and I are buying. We are buying through, for example, Bybit. If you want to use Bybit, by the way, use the link down below. We have at the moment a very special Christmas promotion. You can win an iPhone 15, you can win a shitload of Bitcoin t-shirts, you can win a VIP membership. And you can even win $20 UZT, guys, so an airdrop. So that's very beautiful. But the important thing to understand is that BlackRock has taken all those steps very strategically to get a little bit control into Bitcoin because they understand that Bitcoin is the goal of the 21st century. Of course, they were first very negative. They need to be negative. Why? Because that is how these huge companies work. First, trash down an industry. And when that industry is at a bear market bottom, 
and in the need of funds, you offer them to buy some of their shares. So then you invest in them because they have not that many value. That is how they invested in Blockstream. That is how they invested in the miners. Because the miners in the bear market, of course, they needed new uh, equipment, so they needed to have funds. And that is how they do it every time. They then start to invest in those companies in those periods when the blood is on the street. That is how investors work. And BlackRock is one of the biggest investors, so yes, definitely working that way as well. And then now, of course, they're rolling out a spot ETF while they have access to, I believe, an unlimited amount of Bitcoins coming from those miners that they invested in. Because I really believe that they said to those miners, hey, we will invest millions of dollars in your new mining rigs, but in exchange, you should be selling the Bitcoins also to us. So not to the market, but to BlackRock. So that is why I think BlackRock stepping into this industry is not the most positive part if it comes to decentralization. But yes, I do agree, it will pump your bags because BlackRock has never stepped into the industry to make loss. They just want to make a shitload of profit. And they have a very powerful influence on all companies all over the world. Also the governments, guys. That is why they are now like saying, oh, our main focus at the moment is getting the Bitcoin spot ETF approved. They are putting pressure on the US government, on the SEC, on Gary Gensler. They are putting pressure. Be aware, guys, if you're not going to approve that spot ETF, we are going to fuck up your elections and everything else. <laughs> That's the pressure they are putting there. So, yes, I do believe it's a kind of threat because BlackRock is too big and too centralized and is also one of those companies that's behind all the vaccination programs the, the face mask and the whole lockdowns because they also own the media so for me blackrock is not a perfect combination with bitcoin as bitcoin stands exactly to the opposite of what blackrock stands for but again it will pump your bags this is what you guys all want pump your bags i see bitcoin still as a very peaceful revolution to take the power back to the people and to be able to interact freely in an economical way with everyone out there in the world. Even the poorest of the poorest people should have access to Bitcoin. That's why I tweeted some days ago, we are now living in a time that children will open a Bitcoin wallet before they will open a bank account. And they can open a Bitcoin wallet all over the world without any problems. They can't open a bank account just like this. That's too difficult for kids. They are growing up in a digital century and they will open a Bitcoin wallet before they will ever open a bank account. And we just need to make sure that we can fill those Bitcoin wallets with allowance and that they will be able to use those Bitcoin wallets to spend it to the stuff that the children need. Games, shoes, whatever the kids are needing nowadays. Digital things to use in games. So it's very important that we create adoption so that we take over that power again from all the centralized entities and that we keep Bitcoin to ourselves because Bitcoin and blockchain are, in my honest opinion, the perfect tools to create freedom or to maintain freedom. Better said. Now, let's jump into the next part. The news for today, guys, is about Argentina. Argentina just released a decree that is now stating that you can use any asset out there even if it's not a legal tender in argentina to settle contracts in argentina which means argentina can start to accept bitcoins for export which means all other countries that now want to invest in argentina or import products out of argentina can start legally to use bitcoin this is a very big step guys and it's not excluding any other currencies out there maybe even ethereum or litecoin or chainlink or whatever currency you love but the change in the decree that the foreign minister has stated now means that it's now officially possible that argentina companies can start to accept bitcoin if they are selling products that's a very beautiful step for argentina first Milay becoming the president a very pro bitcoin person and now secondly even allowing Argentinian companies and people to sell their products even inside or outside Argentina also for Bitcoin. 
huge step for Argentina. Um, if you want to read the article, go to Coin Telegraph and you will find the article over there. Read it completely so you completely understand what they are saying. But I think it's a very beautiful step for Argentina. A small step for Argentina, a huge step for mankind as Bitcoin adoption is thriving all over the place. Now let's jump into the next part. And the next part, guys, is the last part of the video, uh, which, of course, is the inspirational part, because, you know, it's almost Christmas. It's another two days or two days yet yeah, to have Christmas Eve, three days to first Christmas Day and second Christmas Day after, of course. So we have planned all those three days completely full with beautiful celebration and events with my family, but also with all the Bitcoin community. We are going to do a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to probably film a lot of that stuff and edit that after, of course, and also, of course, upload it to YouTube and all that stuff so you can a little bit enjoy Christmas the way we are celebrating it here in Thailand. But the thing that always comes to mind around Christmas is that time flies. Time flies. I can still remember last Christmas. This year flew by again. And the positive part is that you're the pilot. You determine where you're flying to, how long that flight is taking, how high you will fly, how low you will fly. It is all in your control. So whenever somebody says, ah, it's so bad that time flies, it's all going, passing by so quickly, just tell them, yeah, but you're the pilot. You determine with what you fill that time. And I think it's very important to understand that you need to fill the time with all that stuff that makes you feel very positive. Not with all the negativity, not with all the negative news, not with all the stuff that people are telling you about the wars and about lockdowns and about all that stuff. You should not be focusing on that. You should be focusing on all the positive stuff. You should be focusing on you being the pilot and determining where you're flying and how that flight will feel. I need to turn around for the wind, guys. Sorry for that. That's a very important lesson. Time might fly by, but you are the pilot. Take control. Sometimes it might feel that you're in this airplane that is only crashing, crashing, crashing. You need to take over that steering handle. You need to take over that control. You need to make sure that flight goes stable as possible and slowly increasing into those heights that you want to achieve while flying. It is all up to you, not up to me. Of course, I maybe can be a little bit motivational because I make these videos on a Bitcoin booty beach and sometimes I make fun of that, of course, but if it is very serious, that serious, then I think that your focus for 2024 should not only be on Bitcoin, but also should be on you taking control of that time that is flying by. Don't let your life be ruled by external people, by jobs, by people that want you to do stuff that you don't want to do. You need to take control on this flight. You need to make it the most smooth flight ever for you and your family. So I wish you all for the next year a very beautiful flight and hopefully many flights to Thailand, to other beautiful countries all over the world in a very stable way, making a shit of profit because you follow the Bitcoin family with your Bitcoins and together probably land somewhere very beautifully on a tropical island, enjoying a beautiful zip of Bacardi Coke or whatever cocktail you're drinking and talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. That is what I wish for you guys. But this is not the end of the year video. So maybe I'm a little bit too early with uh, expressing my feelings about that. But that is the end of the video. So I hope you really understand that you should be the one in control when it comes to the time that is flying by. Yes, it goes fast. But as long as you are in control, it can go as fast as it wants. But then you decide how beautiful the time is that flies by very quickly. That was the end, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and yes, leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about all the other information in the video? What do you think about the time flying by and everything else, guys? Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing Friday, probably doing a live on Saturday and Sunday, depending on how much time I have over after all the shopping for Christmas and all that stuff. But uh, again, if I'm doing a live, hopefully you will be watching it. And if not, probably see you. Monday again. Thanks for watching. Wish you an amazing day and see you next time. Bye.